So behind me is my Abarth 595. But one thing it has to be said is the fact that the standard headlights on this car, which are regular H7 bulbs, are pretty much shocking. When it comes to being able to do something crazy, like, you know, see during the night, or of course when it's raining, these are really not much good whatsoever. Not only that, as you can see, if I show a front view of the car, pretty much the DRLs are brighter than the main headlights. So that's really not good. But today, hopefully that's all going to change because I'm going to be fitting and reviewing these headlights, which can be purchased from a rather large retailer here in the UK called Halfords. These actually promise to be around 200% brighter than the current bulbs on the car. And to be perfectly honest with you, looking at them, that's probably not going to be hard to do. So what I'm going to do on this video is show you exactly how to fit these bulbs, because they're pretty substantial compared to what is on the car right now. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is then go for a drive, do some comparisons before and after, just to see whether these are actually worth buying. So let's get into it. <laughs> Now expectations are pretty high because if we visit the retailer website and take a look at the specifications for these bulbs, the retailer is promising up to 250% more brightness than our standard bulbs. And if we just take a look at the front of the car and the amount of light that's actually coming out of them, that's pretty much not going to be hard to do. Now what's interesting is even though the light coming out of the car is quite poor already, I was surprised to find that the original bulbs are actually Osram, so it's certainly decent brand and nothing cheap so it is going to be interesting to see just how much these new led bulbs do give us that additional light they claim to achieve now if we take a look at the box of course we do get two bulbs and we do get some fitting instructions as well but not to worry because in this video i'm going to explain exactly how to fit them now the first thing you're going to see if we compare them to the standard bulbs is they are pretty much huge in comparison. They are so much more substantial. And one thing you will notice is not only do we have this flat piece right here with an LED either side, but on the back of the bulb, we have a cooling fan. And this is because LEDs in this sort of automotive application tend to run a little bit hot. So hopefully this fan will keep them cool and of course keep that efficiency up. Now, as you can see, there is no connector block on the back of the bulb. Instead, we have got a cable that runs into an external ballast. So the reason for me mentioning this is because, of course, please do make sure or take into account if you are looking to fit these bulbs that you have adequate space at the back of your bulb to be able to fit all these additional gubbins. That being said, if you also have a cover on the back of your bulbs to be able to keep the dirt and dust out, once these bulbs are in situ, you might not be able to get that cover back on. I was quite fortunate and I did manage to do it, but just something for you to be aware of. So let's get on to fitting these bulbs then. First of all, we're going to need to remove the old one, nice and simple. All we need to do is pull out the connector block from the back of our bulb. And then all we need to do is just push and release this little retaining pin. And as easy as that, our existing H7 bulb has been removed from the headlight then what we need to do is of course fit the new one now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because of course physically the bulb is that big at the back there is absolutely no way we can use that existing retaining pin to keep the bulb in place but don't worry because they've actually thought of that as you can see the bulb actually fits inside this little collar which you can remove from the bulb itself now what actually happens is this little collar removes from the bulb and you put that in place where the existing bulb would have fitted with the little tab just slotted in the exact same place that the tab would have done on the original bulb what we can then do is of course use that original retaining pin just to lock that in place as you can see we've got two little tabs on the bulb which actually slide into this little retaining holder so all we need to do is go to fit our new bulb and then we pop it through the hole into that little sleeve that we've already pre-fitted to the car and then what you might need to do is just turn it so those little tabs align perfectly once they do the bulb will physically slide 
all the way in just give it half a turn just to lock that bulb in place and that is going absolutely nowhere right simply fit the car connector to the new ballast cable that comes for the new headlights and then of course all we need to then do is just repeat for the other side so that is one of the bulbs fitted and as you can see one of them is a completely different color to the other one is it going to be brighter well Basically, I'm going to try something that is very non-scientific, but we're just going to give it a go anyway and just see what happens. Now, guys, I did say this wasn't very scientific, but let's just give it a go anyway. This is a lux meter in the form of a app on my mobile phone. So what I'm going to do is just place that in front of the original headlight. Now, obviously, this isn't exact, obviously subject to me moving about and obviously different light conditions. It's going to change. Like I say, it's certainly not exact again the reading is probably irrelevant um, in terms of the actual number but when we go to compare it to the new one around the same sort of place so of course the numbers according to my very non-scientific um, app basically suggest that yes the new bulb is of course brighter but does it translate on the road i'm going to go ahead and fit the other bulb then go for a drive and show some before and afters so let's crack on with it So it has been a few days now since I recorded the bulk of the video uh, you've watched up until this point because I wanted to go and drive the car for a few days uh, on different nights in rainy conditions just to get a feel of how good they actually are and how much difference they made. Now one thing I have to mention of course is the fact that cameras are not that good in low light so any difference you did see and there was indeed quite a big difference um, on the video you've just watched will basically be amplified when you're actually using your own eyes, your own eyesight. When when I was watching the video back you could see that the difference was so much greater than what actually came across um, on the video feed uh, so that's always positive so essentially would I recommend these bulbs 100% yes um, in true honest style that I like to do on this channel is there other bulbs that may perform as well as these quite possibly is there bulbs out there that could perform equally uh, for cheaper quite possibly but this was a review of bulbs available from a high street retailer in the UK to see just how good they are and basically from my point of view they are absolutely amazing and I wouldn't hesitate to fit them to your car so that wraps up this review of these Halfords LED headlights if you did find it useful of course give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're awesome and until next time see you again soon